Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope we're all doing really well. So in this vlog, I'm gonna bring you guys along for a horsey packed few days with me. Spend a few days with me, come to the barn with me, come to the yard with me, and just have a bit of a life update from me. It is currently a Sunday lunchtime, and I am about to go off for an afternoon tea with some family members. It's purely girly. It's me and my mum and my sister-in-law and her mum, and we're gonna go and just eat some nice food and talk about girly things and enjoy the nice day that it is outside. I'll bring you guys along, like I said, for a horsey filled, realistic few days with me. And I really hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. So like I said a minute ago, it's currently a Sunday today and I always like to try and keep my Sundays horsey free. I know you guys might be thinking, okay, you're not a true horse girl, but I work with horses. So every day, pretty much Monday to Saturday, I'm at the yard from half six in the morning until about four o'clock in the afternoon. So I try and keep Sunday as a free day to just have family time, to try and chill out a little bit and just to not, not smell for the day actually. It's actually quite nice. And I know some of you guys might be thinking, do you not want to spend like your day off like riding and all that sort of stuff? And yes, don't get me wrong, some days I do just absolutely crave it, but I'm gonna hold my hands up and say a lot of the time I actually just want to come and chill out and be a normal person for a day. And I don't think there's any shame in that. I'm gonna go off to my afternoon tea now and eat loads of food. Put all the calories back on that I burned at the gym earlier. I don't even care. I literally don't even care. The food is worth it. But yes, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna get going. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Cream, isn't it? Hello everyone. So I've just got back from afternoon tea. It was very, very, very lovely. I bought back some treats for George because I'm such a good girlfriend. So I'll bring you guys along tomorrow for some riding with the horses. I'll be riding Mayo and Bumble if Bumble has not lost a shoe or done any other damage in the field overnight. We shall see. But yeah, I think we're just going to chill for the rest of the evening. Maybe give it a bit of a clean and a tidy up here because it's not looking that great. And then we're just going to relax and unwind and enjoy the rest of our Sunday. So I will catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning everyone. So it's currently 7.38 on a Monday morning and I'm sorry for the sort of like obstructed view of my wheel but I just cannot get my camera set up in a good place in the car and I always watch people's videos and they're like chatting in the car and stuff doing drive with me's and I've tried to do it and it just does not work so apologies basically. So I started my morning this morning by going to the doctors to try and get an appointment about a bite that I had about three weeks ago, which I think is a tick bite. I might insert a picture of what it's looking like now, I might not, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, classic me, I got this bite and I just thought, oh, it's like a horse fly bite or something. I mean, we are in only like February, I don't even know if horse flies are, are about, but classic me was just like, yeah, whatever. Three weeks have passed and it's got like really infected, like it's quite bruised, it's quite hard, there's like a rash around it. Um, and I was chatting to my mom, and I was like, oh, I had this, like, really bad bite. Like, do you want to have a look? She's like, let me have a look. Um, and she was like, oh, I think it might be a tick bite. And the only reason my mom was so switched on about it is because she actually, unfortunately, has Lyme disease herself, which is a disease caused by ticks. I don't really understand the science behind it. I think it's, like, the bacteria. It's to do with parasites and stuff um, that the ticks carry. And when they suck and drink your blood... Uh, they like pass it on to you or can pass it on to you so she said go and get that looked at so I popped into the pharmacist last Friday and they said right you need to see a doctor like quite soon it's actually quite infected so that's what I've been doing this morning coming to the doctors to try and get an appointment and they've given me a telephone appointment in about an hour so yeah basically guys check your bites especially us horse girls that are like out in it every day in the hay and the long grass etc so yeah I'll keep you updated about that situation but other than that scenario, I am all good. I'm gonna go and ride Mayo and do something with Bumble, depending what mood he's in, and just enjoy the horses this morning. So yeah, I'm just gonna pop to the yard now and I'll catch up with you in a bit. He's so handsome. Yes, he's so handsome.
this is me trying to get in touch with Dan still when I get on. Perfect boy. So I have just finished at the yard. It is currently 20 past 10 in the morning. I hope I got enough footage to show you guys a bit of like my morning, a bit of like what I get up to on a Monday. So I went to the school with Mayo today, as you guys saw, and he was a very good boy. He wasn't quite as relaxed as normal. I think because when I normally take him in the school, it's normally quite early in the morning. It's normally probably around seven o'clock in the morning before work. Um, so there's like no noises, no one's around, there's no distractions. But today it was quite, it was quite distracting and he coped very well, bless him. And Bumble, I didn't actually film because my mum had to shoot off back and it was quite a quick one from me, but I schooled him and he didn't feel too bad. He felt a bit better. He spoke to the doctors on the phone about my tick bite as well and they have asked me to go in later so the, so the doctor can actually like have a proper look at it in person. Um, I did send them a photo, but I think because it is, it's been probably three or four weeks now and it is actually looking quite infected, I think they do want to just have a little look themselves. That's what I've got to do. I'll go home, have some food, get some work done and then wait for my appointment at half three. So yeah, I'm gonna drive home now and I will see you guys in a bit. I just sat down for my lunch. It doesn't actually look that appetizing. I can never make food look appetizing. Like there's just literal protein powder just everywhere. So yeah, I'm sorry that it doesn't look that um, aesthetic, but I have gone for some oats and some a banana and some walnuts and just topped with some honey and I've mixed in some woman's best protein powder and chocolate flavor just to give me that extra bit of protein but yeah this is sort of what i will have for um like a lunch if i'm at home um if i'm at the yard or i'm working i'll sometimes like blend everything up and make it into like a smoothie and maybe add some yogurt and some more milk so yeah that's what i've gone for and i've also made myself a coffee i try and only have uh, maximum two coffees a day otherwise i'm literally off my nut and i can't sleep but yeah, this is my lunch. I'm just gonna sit down and have this now and then carry on with some work and then it's time to go back to the doctors. I don't know how well I'm focusing right now. I think that's a little bit better, is that a bit better? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I've just finished doing some work for a few hours. I've been very productive. I've got quite a lot done actually, which I'm proud of. And I'm now just giving my room a quick clean and tidy because it's not looking the best. And I'm gonna sort of, the room I'm in right now is basically like, I call it like my getting ready room. It's like a spare room that we have 
that I've just sort of turned into like a room to get ready in. <laughs> and like, it's just not very t like clean and tidy. So I'm just gonna try and give that a little sort out. I'm thinking of turning it into a bit of a YouTube room. I don't know what you guys think about that. And I think I mentioned earlier, they asked me to go in and look at the bite. So I'll do that and then I'm gonna pop to the gym and probably train legs again. This, if I train legs today, it's gonna be the third day in a row that I'm training legs. But I don't know about you guys, I have to train legs on the days where I've got energy. And obviously today I haven't done like that much physical work. Whereas I know tomorrow I'm gonna to be knackered because I'm at the yard from half six in the morning until four. So I'll leave that for an upper body day, you know. Because I don't really care as much about that. I don't know if that's really bad. It probably is really bad, isn't it? But yeah, I'll show you quickly what I am wearing. It's literally what I wore the other day when I went to the gym, or yesterday. I always wear, I'd say, gym clothes like two days in a row. Do you know what? That's a complete lie. I pretty much wear gym clothes like seven days in a row and then like wash them on like the seventh day. That's really disgusting, isn't it? That's actually really gross. I probably shouldn't put that. So yeah, this is the fit for the gym today. I don't know if you guys can see, but they are literally the most flattering leggings I think I have ever purchased in my whole life. Like the material and everything is just unreal. And I've paired them with this woman's best training top that I really wanna to wear to ride in as well. Again, lovely material. I like how like sort of like flattering it is. And I'm just, in the winter I'm into training at the gym in like actual t-shirts rather than just sports bras because I get so cold going in and out of the gym and a t-shirt just provides that bit of extra warmth you know so yeah that's the fit wish I could wear the slippers to the gym but that's not socially acceptable unfortunately <laughs> my busy afternoon and I can give you an update. I don't know why I've turned this channel into like a health advice channel. I'm not really sure what's going on with that. You guys probably don't even care at all about like my doctor dramas, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. But yeah, anyway, they looked at my bite and they're actually quite concerned because it looks like the infection is going like up my leg, like up away from like the bite center, which the guy said he was a little bit concerned about. So. They've switched up my antibiotics, put me on some stronger antibiotics, and he also said to have another appointment about my skin because he wasn't convinced doxycycline was helping the skin. So I don't know what to do about my skin journey. I've actually got an appointment on Wednesday with a like a private skin clinic. Um, I couldn't afford to go to a proper dermatologist, so it's like a skin expert, I think they're called. So hopefully that will have a bit more of an idea with what I can do moving forward with that, but yeah. Just a bit of an insight into what it's like to be bitten by something, maybe a tick. So you horsey girls out there, make sure you check any bites that you have because I very nearly didn't go and get it looked at. So yeah, anyway, that was that situation. I went to the gym, I trained legs. It was good. I've trained legs three days in a row now. I need to stop. That's like my toxic trait is that I just like do legs for like three days. And then I'm like, oh my God, why am I so weak? Like my upper body, but yeah, it's fine. Um, and then I went to Tesco's and I picked up some dinner for me and George tonight and he is on a low carb diet at the moment So I was like, fucking hell, what can I buy that's like low carb? Um, so I've actually bought some steaks um, I'm gonna do like a nice avocado salad and I've also tried to make like these parmesan courgette fries Fries, have you guys been to the Ivy and had those like courgette fries in here that are like, literally unreal? Um, so I tried to sort of like replicate that but I think I've not sliced them enough So we shall see how they turn out but 
I'll show you the end result um, when it's done. Yeah, I'm probably going to close the vlog off now. Um, I know it's only been sort of like a couple of days that you've like spent with me, but I just really want to get this video edited so I can get it out this week for you guys. So I'm trying really hard to try and get a video every week. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.